Today, President-elect Trump will return to the White House for the first time since leaving in 2020. And he's scheduled to uh, meet with President Biden to discuss various policy concerns as Trump's new cabinet takes shape. ABC's Christiane Cordero has the latest from Washington. In the one week since becoming president-elect, Donald Trump is on a hiring spree, tapping Fox News host Pete Hegseth as Secretary of Defense. The Harvard and Princeton grad served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He's urged Trump to clean house at the Pentagon and says this about women in combat. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. It hasn't made us more effective, hasn't made us more lethal, has made fighting more complicated. Trump has also announced cabinet positions to help deliver his campaign promise of mass deportations, including so-called border czar Tom Homan and incoming deputy chief of staff Stephen Miller. They are set to work in hand with Trump's pick for Department of Homeland Security Secretary, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Yes, they love you. You're the one who protects them. Noam was in consideration to become Trump's running mate until she wrote in her memoir about shooting and killing her family dog. She also corrected an error in her memoir where she claimed to have met with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. On ambassadorships, Trump has named former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee as U.S. ambassador to Israel. Huckabee is a staunch supporter of the Israeli settlement movement and has said there is no such thing as a Palestinian or the West Bank. Ahead of Trump's return to office, Democratic governors are set to go on offense. California Governor Gavin Newsom met with President Biden yesterday. So just left the White House, met with senior officials, met with the president himself, talking about everything we need to do to prepare for this transition, to prepare California. Trump has also announced Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy will run a Department of Government Efficiency. Musk, whose companies have billions of dollars worth in government contracts, says all actions of the new department will be posted online. Congress has not created such an office, so it's unclear how it will be funded. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Washington.